Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. Uh, today we'll talk about Swing applications. So this is your first video for advanced Java tutorials. So in this, we'll start with Swing applications. So to understand what is Swing, first we'll talk, we'll talk about NetBeans. So what is NetBeans? It's an IDE. So you, you can see we have NetBeans IDE 8.0, which is the latest version for NetBeans. So IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, in which you can you can do all this development task in the same platform like compilation, edition, uh, ed edit, and then you can run it on the same platform, right? So like uh, if you write your code in, in Notepad, so you have to write a code on Notepad, then you have to compile using Java C, and then you can run your application using JVM, right? So in NetBeans, you can do all those tasks in the same platform or the same software, and that is NetBeans. Okay, so uh, in this, whenever you want to create something new, you have to start with a new project. So what we'll do, we'll say new project. Uh, uh, see, again, uh, you, you have this project area. So right click on your project area and say new project. And then select Java applications. Again, we have multiple options here. Like for a new type of applications, you can select Java FX. For a website project or web development, you can do using Java web. If you want to create enterprise application, you can select Java EE. If you want to create HTML, like HTML5, if you can go with HTML5. Uh, since uh, we, it's your first application using Swing, Swing, so we are working with Java and Java applications. So all your Swing applications or Swing codes need to be done using this project. So this is Java application project. Say next, give your proper name, we'll say Swing Demo. And then we'll say Finish. So once you say finish, by default, you will get a file. But we don't want to use this file. We'll keep it aside and we'll create our own. So we'll close this. Now, how to create our own file? So right click on your project or your source package, new, and you can select Java class. And give a class name, we'll say my first, my GUI, which is your first GUI, okay? You can have any file name. So click on finish. Okay, once you reach here, what we what we need now is let me delete all this comment first. Okay. So once you once you've been there, now your first task is uh, we have to create a GUI. Now what is GUI means? It is graphical user interface. Like when you work with normal Java codes, you have to do everything using command line, right? Or you can use those console, or you can say uh line command interface or line user interface which is your black console something it looks in this way okay it looks in this way so you have to type all those commands okay so what we have here is uh hold on okay so uh what we have is this uh everything you have to do in command line right like you compile so if you say java c this is how you compile right but what we need we need some gui we, we have to we have to view those thing in a gui so what you can do is just we have to say uh let's create one more class so we'll say class uh my frame okay so when i say i have to create those form uh, what i have to do is we have to say class my frame to click to create a frame to create a GUI we have to say extends frame okay so to, to create a GUI you need to do extends frame and again you have to import the package right so you have to write a package name here so you have to say import something what we can do in NetBeans you just have to say control shift I so when I say control shift I it will do this thing so it's import java.aw.frame okay so this frame this is a class which belongs to a package awt okay and now to to display this what we need we need a constructor so we'll say constructor my frame okay now uh, to to make it visible what we need to do is uh, we need a main function so again in netbeans you have some shortcuts so in order to print main function you can say psvm and then press tab so you will get this thing okay uh, okay so let me just call this uh, constructor using i can say new my frame to, because to call a constructor you have to use a keyword called as new okay once your constructor is get called what i need 
uh, I need to display my frame, right? So let, let's see what happens when you run this file. So right click on your core source code and say run. Now if you run this file, it's not working, right? It's because uh, you you got the, the, there's no errors. You got the output, but output is blank. It's because you're not able to see the frame. It's because by default your frame is in invisible mode. So to make it visible, you have to say set visible true. So when I say set visible true, let's see what happens. If I run this, now you can see somewhere I have uh, I have this window. Again, it's a very small window here, but I have a window. Okay, this is your frame. But the problem is it's not able to see, right? It's not, uh, you, you can maximize, right? But what, what we want, by default, it will have some size. Like some, some this size. So we have to specify those size also. To specify those size, go to your code and say set size. You can set this set the size of your frame using set size and you can say 400 comma 400 which says it will use 400 pixels horizontally and 400 pixels vertically so approximately we'll get a square and yeah that's it so let me run this again uh, uh, yeah now you can see we have a frame here right so this is your frame so this was your first geo application again we'll have some we'll we'll add some components here in my next video so stay tuned and do subscribe for the further videos thank you so much